Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Let's make some carnival funnel cakes tonight. Okay guys, uh, first off, let me tell you, you might hear the air conditioner running in the background. We usually shut it off, but it's, it's just so hot right now, it's still like 86 degrees and it's 9.30 at night. So we're just going to leave it run, so please bear with me on that. Um, but we're going to make this, uh, we got this at the Five Below store. And I think it was five bucks. But um, anyway, we're going to give it a shot. All you need is water and oil, so gives you the the instructions are right here on the top. Uh, I don't know who this is made by. It makes eight to ten cakes. What you'll need, you'll need cooking oil, measuring cup, three inch deep frying pan, eight inch diameter. Now I don't have an eight inch diameter. I got a ten inch diameter, but hey, we're gonna do it Shea Bear's way, all right? Which is Shea Bear's way and I'm sure you guys will do it your way too. Work with what we got, right guys? Uh, two quart mixing bowl and some metal tongs so that way when you flip it. So let's go ahead and I'll get everything set up here and let's get this mixed up. Okay guys, I know it says to use a, what did it say? It says a two quart mixing bowl. But I don't know where a two quart is. This is bigger than two quart, but it's okay. It'll be fine, right? So, and I've got one and one third cup of water here, which in let's see, is this converted into metric? I actually got a little bit more. Um, yeah, it would be about 300 milliliters. Okay, so I got just a little bit more. If you hear something in the background, Monkey's making something too, aren't you, Monkey? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show you. Interrupt, yeah. What you making there, Mama? I see some ginger beer. I see some Smirnoff. I see a lime and a shot glass. Mm. But the, the thing that should give it away is right there that she's pouring in right now. That gold mug. What you making, babe? Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. All right. Okay, so let's go over here. It's a Moscow Mule, Dad. <laughs> you haven't even had a drink yet. Oh, my God. Okay. And what we're going to do after we make this video, we're going to play this game. Jumping monkeys. Okay. No, you don't have to get naked. All right, so let's open this up got a piece of tape on here and I was looking at the monkeys all about this exploration dates or expiration dates on everything well she's gonna shit when she sees this one best used it best if used by February or no February 11th of 2000 no February 1st of 2019 so, but this stuff ain't going to go bad for a long time. So, and we're going to use. Is it bad? No, I said it won't go bad for a long time. We're going to use the whisk that Monkey bought from Wish, the Wish whisk. We're going to use that. Let's get this in here. Let's open this up. Ooh, kind of flowery. All right, and dump this all in here. You're going to want a batter, kind of like a waffle batter, the consistency of like a waffle batter or pancake batter is what you're going to want. So there's that. Now let's get this off of here because I'm sure we're going to make quite the mess. Well, they got this taped on. I'm I was trying not to rip it in case we do a giveaway on this thing, but I'm I'm thinking I won't do ouch, son of a bitch, I just hit my head on the light. Anyway. Did you crack so, it? My head or the light? The light. The light's fine. 
So anyway, I'm going to use this this for like oil and stuff, you know, putting oil in lawnmowers and the truck or anything. Okay. All right. Now let's. The fun part is if you can see that the angle that this is at. That's going to be fun to try to pour that into here. All right. So let's go ahead and pour this in here. Like I said, she hasn't even had a drink. She'll calm down once she has a drink. Okay. There we go. So we're going to mix this up. Okay, it's looking pretty good. A little thick, but I had a little, or a little thin, but okay, it'll be fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the stove, and I'll show you what you do there. All right, guys, now what you want to do, like I said, this is 10-inch pan, and they tell you to use 8-inch, but it's okay. I mean, it'll be fine. Now what you're going to want to do, you want 3-inch sides on your pan, 3 inches, okay? But this is about 3-inch side. I think it's a 3-inch side, but you're going to want to pour, make sure there's about an inch in the bottom of your pan, all right? Now we're going to turn this on. And I'm going to just kind of crank it up a little bit and then I'll turn it back down because you want this uh, like 350 to 375 degrees, I do believe. Yeah, 350 to 375. Okay, so we're going to let that heat up now. How I'm going to gauge it, I don't know how you guys will do it, but it would probably be best if you had a, a, uh, shoot, a deep fryer, but... We're going to put this on, there should be a setting for nothing. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now that's just going to read a temperature. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to try to keep at it about 350. Okay, so when that gets up to 350, we'll be back with you. And Monkey will be back with us. <laughs> How is it? Good? She makes the best around. Okay. Yay! Okay. Let's do this. I'm a happy girl now. <laughs> you a happy girl now? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, good. All right. We'll get back with you in just a second. Okay, guys. Now, I wasn't thinking my meat thermometer does not go up to 350 degrees. Um, so, I'm just kind of guessing at this. So... What they want you to do is hold it about two inches from here and make circles. So let's see if we can do this. And what you're going to do is let it cook for 30 seconds on this side or until the edges get golden brown. And then you're going to turn it over with these tongs and do it for another 20 more seconds. They say you use metal tongs, but we've had these tongs. Man, these have been a great set of tongs here, boy. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. Let's flip it. Woohoo! 20 more seconds. And we're going to take it out. Okay, guys, here we go. There's one. Then you let it cool, and you can top with all kinds of different... I think a gnat just flew on that. Maybe not. No. Anyway, you can... You can uh, we're just going to put some powdered sugar on it. But we're going to go ahead and make a couple more. Okay, guys, now you can top this with blueberries, strawberries, uh, what they say, whipped cream and all that stuff. Melted chocolate? Yeah, chocolate, scrape some chocolate. What it, you know, do it your way, whatever you want, however you want to do it. We're just using um, this uh, pure cane sugar. It's just powdered sugar, yeah, or icing sugar, whatever. Now, it says use a sifter. We do not have a sifter, but what we do have is my ingenuity. So we're we're just going to use this. 
this colander thing. Oh, that works good. Look. Wow. Pretty, honey. Thank you. Very pretty. Put a little bit whoops, in there. Yeah. There you go. There's one. That looks nice. It looks like snow. Kind of makes it a little messy. Of course, you can use a smaller one, or you can actually use a sifter. Mm -hmm. But this is good enough. Mm -hmm. we'll get one Almost like being a cardinal. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and rip you off a piece there, Mama. Alright. Very nice. See what you think of it. Mm. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, let me try a little piece here. Mm. Nice. And it's still warm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Tastes just like the fair, don't it? Mm -hmm. Or a carnival. So there we go, guys. Yeah, very good. Very good. I think I like it better than the carnival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go, guys. We made some funnel cakes. Now we're going to get on to... Mm, jumping it. monkeys. Yay! The jumping monkeys. All right, so stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. Shaper 1000, I'm gone. Monkeys out. Monkeys out. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.